Sari bicara contoh, 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 Bas, nejat awak mahu naik bagai nejat begini? Korang bukan orang yang lelit nak kira-ra. Asyik. Aya, asante ni sana. Asante ni sana. Viongozi wetu wa dini wakiongozwa na askofu wetu, ndugu viongozi wote wenzangu, wananchi wa Narok, Kajiado, Kule Samburu na wakenya wengine wote hamjambo. Enda subabogi. Enda subabogi. May see see all right, Oriani. Ira Rasidan. Ma. Ma. Ira Rasidan. Sidan Gare. Sidan Gishu. Mezi sio la historia ni Bwana yetu Yesu asifiwe Hebu mnisalimie hewani wale wako na <laughs> Aya asanteni sana Mimi kwanza nimefurahi sana na mshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi tumefika katika hii sherehe ya muhimu sana Wakati viongozi wenu walinitembelea na wakaniuliza kwamba muko na sherehe hii ya muhimu mimi nikakubali ya kwamba nitakuja kuungana pamoja na nyinyi nakumbuka CEO wetu alikuja na chairman na wale wengine na tukakubaliana tutakuja hapa kwa sababu mila na desturi na tradition ya jamii ya Wamasai imekuwa identity ya taifa letu la Kenya. Mimi nachukua nafasi hii kwa niaba ya serikali ya Kenya na kwa niaba ya wakenya wote kuwashukuru jamii ya Wamasai kwa vile mumesimama imara mukazuia ile msukumo mkubwa ulioko ya kubadilisha mila na leo mambo ya Masai Mara Amboseli Samburu National Park ama Game Reserve hizi sehemu zote za wanyama katika taifa letu la Kenya mumezilinda mumesimamia vizuri na ni kwa sababu ya mila zenu ndio tuko na sehemu hizi ambazo sasa ni sehemu ya taifa letu la Kenya ambayo tunajivunia. Na ndio sababu hiyo jameni mimi nimekuja hapa kwa furaha kubwa. Kwa sababu tumekuja kuwapatia endorsement ya kwamba mila yenu ni mila safi, ni mila nzuri. Na tumekuja hapa kusimama na nyinyi na nimekubaliana na viongozi wenu hawa ya kwamba hii sherehe itakuwa sasa ni sherehe ya kila mwaka na sherehe hii haitakuwa sherehe ya counties tatu peke yake itakuwa ni sherehe ambayo itakuwa ni sherehe ya kitaifa na serikali ya Kenya 
itaungana na serikali zetu za county kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunaandaa hii sherehe vile inapaswa ndio tuhakikisha kwamba inatumika kulinda desturi na mila ya wamasai na vile vile kulinda sehemu zetu za mbuga ya wanyama wa pori na vile vile kuhakikisha ya kwamba inakuwa a commercial and will take care of the commercial interest of the communities that practice this tradition kwa hivyo i want to confirm na waziri yuko hapa ambaye anahusika ya kwamba kuanzia mwaka ujao tutaiweka katika budget yetu ya ministry ya tourism na ministry ya culture na tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi ile kitu nimekubaliana na magovernors wenu nimesema ya kwamba hii sherehe itakuwa ni sherehe ambayo watu watatoka duniani kote wakati wanakuja kuangalia wild beast migration vile vile watakuja katika hii sherehe na tutatumia hii sherehe kujaza mahoteli yetu tutatumia hii sherehe kupanga ajira ya vijana wetu wanaofanya kazi katika sehemu hizi na mimi naamini ya kwamba ile hatua ya kwanza tumefanya leo ndio itatengenezwa vizuri kuliko vile tumeitengeneza hii going forward we are going to make this function better and proper and going forward we are going to make sure that this function becomes part of the itinerary of our tourism circuits and our tourism program as a country kwa hivyo mimi nimewasikiza sana viongozi wenzangu waliosema hapa kwa kirefu najua tungekuwa na muda mrefu mimi nilifika hapa kama saa ine na nusu saa tano lakini tulianza kwanza kuanza na wanyama huko chini ndio tukakuja hapa kama saa saba hivi lakini hiyo mwaka ingine tutakuja mapema kwa sababu tumeambiwa mapema ndio best ama tume, ama walisema nini wale wa kusema walisema mapema ndio nini so siku hiyo ingine tutakuja mapema na tutaweka sherehe ya siku mzima ndio tuweze kufanya hii maneno ikae chonjo na ikae laini sawa sawa mimi nachukua nafasi hii vile vile mbali na kuwashukuru viongozi magapa na wetu viongozi wa bunge vile vile na MCS wanaoshirikiana na kusimamia county zetu tuhakikishe ya kwamba mambo ya conservation kulinda mazingira yetu kulinda utamaduni wetu na kuhakikisha ya kwamba culture inaambatana na yale mambo ambayo yanakuwa sura ya taifa letu la Kenya nimekubali ya kwamba tutashirikiana tuangalie ni vipi tunaweza kuendesha utalii na hiyo utalii isiwe tu ni utalii ya mambo ya wanyama peke yao ama mambo ya beach kule Mombasa peke yake pia mbele na nyuma iwe ni mambo ya culture ya watu wa taifa letu la Kenya na ndio sababu tunasimama hapa pamoja na nyinyi we want as our tourists come to watch the great wildebeest migration they must also come to watch this beautiful ceremony of celebrating the Maasai culture every year and this must become a source of tourist numbers and premium tourist visits from across the globe as we celebrate Kenya as the cradle of humanity we must travel we must uh, uh, celebrate the Maasai culture as the culture that has withstood many challenges and today we celebrate the Maasai culture na leo mimi nimekuja hapa kutangaza vile vile 
ya kwamba UNESCO ambayo ni idara ya United Nations wametambua culture ya Wamasai na imewekwa katika orodha ya mambo ya muhimu duniani kote ambayo inazingatiwa na jamii ya watu wa duniani kote so we are celebrating a special place that UNESCO has identified certain aspects of the Maasai culture and as my minister has said the enkibata as an induction of boys leading into initiation UNESCO has also identified eunoto which you know is the shaving of the moran as they give way to be adults and olngesher the meat eating ceremony that is serves as a graduation to adulthood haya mambo matatu yametambuliwa na united nations kupitia unesco kama items ya culture ya wamasai ambayo ni ya muhimu duniani kote vile vile nichukue nafasi hii kupongeza unesco kwa kutambua culture ya wamasai na ndio wanasema these three items of the Maasai culture will be inscribed on UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage and in the need to the safeguarding and transmission of these cultural items to the next generation kwa hivyo vijana mlioko hapa mnajua ya kwamba this culture will move from one generation to another mimi nataka vile vile niseme ya kwamba mbali na kupanga yale mambo mengine mengi yote culture hii imewezekana kwa sababu mumelinda na mumetunza mazingira katika sehemu zenu hasa katika counties hizi zetu tatu na ndio sababu hiyo mumesikia sasa tumebadilisha pale nyuma kulikuwa na matatizo ya kukata miti katika sehemu zetu za misitu ikiwemo msitu wa mao lakini leo tumebadilisha mambo saa hizi tunaongea kupanda miti bilioni tano na kuhakikisha kwamba tuko na miti ya kutosha na vile niliwaahidi mambo ya mau tumefunga kabisa hakuna mtu tena atarudi katika msitu wa mau sisi tumesema msitu wa mau na misitu mengine ya taifa letu la Kenya msitu wa Kakamega msitu wa eh, kule Mount Kenya haya misitu yote sasa kazi yetu imebaki ni kuweka ua ama kuweka fence na tumetafuta marafiki tunashirikiana na wao so that we can secure our forests and make sure that we use them for posterity jambo la pili mume tunza sehemu hizi za mbuga za wanyama wa pori kule samburu mumefanya kazi ya muhimu kule kajiado mumefanya kazi ya muhimu hapa narok you have done an exceptional job na mumeweka mpango mpya yenye mimi nataka niendos na niambie waziri asaidiane na counties kutekeleza kusaidia counties kutekeleza hapa Masai Mara mumeweka the Masai Mara management plan and the greater Masai Mara management plan i want to commit that we are going to support the management of these parks for the benefit of the communities in these areas and for the sustainable use of the facilities we have in these game reserves and in the conservancies that border these game reserves nataka niwashukuru sana wananchi ambao wametoa sehemu zao 
za malisho ya ngombe yao ili iwe sehemu ya conservancies na kutusaidia kulinda wanyama ambao wana, wageni wengi wanakuja kuzitembelea mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba tutasaidiana na county zenu kuhakikisha kwamba zile conservancies inawapatia mapato wale wametoa sehemu zao za ardhi ili kusifanya kama conservancies we are going to work together to make sure our conservancies benefit those who have surrendered their grazing lands so that we can use them for conservancy animal conservancies and make the uh, our game reserves more viable so tutashirikiana hivyo and we have agreed that there will be a similar management plan that is already being carried out by Samburu County and we are going to do the same in Amboseli vile mulisikia tayari nimeamuru wizara ambayo inahusikana na mambo ya utalii na wanyamapori ya kwamba mahali tuko na game reserve mahali tuko na game park hizo game parks ile mapato inapatikana pale nimesema mapato inayopatikana igawanywe kati ya county government na national government 50% sijui kama tunaelewana game reserves ni za counties game parks zile za serikali ya kitaifa county yenye ina host hiyo game park wapate 50% ya revenue ambayo inatoka kwa ile game park ambayo iko katika hiyo county sijui kama tumeelewana tayari waziri yuko hapa ps yuko hapa i have given them instructions on making sure that all our game parks across kenya Thank you.